for all that. Uh, all right, Denise, haven't seen you for a right, while. All right, babes. All right. you been? I've been to L.A. Oh. oh! No, I did. I know, I know. I did a, I did a lovely job for GMTV with uh, your old sparring partner, Carla Romano. Yes. And we did a sort of um, Thelma and Louise trip up uh, across America. But, um, but m more, more exciting than, well, we did lots of exciting things, but, and I know you love her, we interviewed Jackie Collins. Oh, oh Jenna! Yes. At her house. And all my, all my, house. there we are, let me wow. and Jackie. Oh, that was no. because I was meant to be Thelma and Louise, although I just felt I looked like Jock Ewing off Dallas for most of the time <laughs> in Jackie Collins' house. But she was, nice? she was, her house is just fantastic. I think it's worth something like 17 million pounds or something, wow. I don't know. Just amazing. Did you go to the loo and look in the cupboard? Did went to the loo. <laughs> she said, but, but the thing is, she, she, she kind of didn't want us to, she didn't want us to go. She was very chatty, lots and lots of gossip off camera, which of course I can't share with you. And, uh, and now I'm just going to drop another one. Went to Robbie's house for sausage and mash. <laughs> Well, oh. because his dad, Pete, and I have known each other and Tim for quite a long time. And oh. when we were in this quite posh hotel, I ordered a sausage platter, being a Geordie, thinking it might include a sausage nap. <laughs> there was three slices of chorizo sausage with oh, tomato. Wow. It was just rubbish, yeah. Beverly Hills. Mm. Anyway, so he said go up to, to Robbie's. I went up to Robbie's. And it's his house now. Oh, gorgeous. Is and it? they're very, very so happy. Jealous. Very, very. It was just absolutely lovely. Did you meet all their little dogs? Eight dogs. Eight dogs. Oh, Eight yes. dogs. Um, there was a little bit of an Osborne moment with a bit of a white carpet. Who did, the, who did the driving then out of you two? Or did you have someone to drive? No, Carla did the driving. Did well, she? you could imagine me doing the driving. Yeah. <laughs> that was I did. There yeah. was absolutely no chance. But the other little keep highlight, just before, keep it smooth, keep it smooth, <laughs> and bring it in the ear. But the other highlight was, because of my children's obsession with Michael J J Jackson, Louis had a uh, Michael Jackson party for his ninth birthday, which Colleen, Colleen came to with Kira, and Matthew's grown up loving Michael Jackson. We we went to Neverland, which really is now no more than just a gate. I mean, they've even taken the Neverland off. There it is at the gate. Me burst into tears. I just oh. got so emotional. But Carla said at one point, she said, Denise got really emotional. She said, then we got back in the car. I looked to my right. There was no Denise. I then looked up to see her moonwalking past the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt I owed it to my children to do a rubbish moonwalk past the gate. Well, I, I didn't so moonwalk fair. because I think that's uh, the Saturday coming. I pink ribbon walked at the weekend. Um, it was, a, it was a, a long, a very long walk in the rain uh, to raise money miles? and awareness for breast cancer care. Well, there was... Um, um, there was 20 miles or 10 miles and me and Jackson my dog and my sister Linda that there's me and Jackson We did the 10 miles. Oh, he's got a t-shirt. He, he had a t-shirt on and everything. Oh, Where is that? Where nice is that? It was at Petworth House in West Sussex oh, and it was goodness. absolutely lovely and um, Can I just say I'm really sorry to the lady who I ran over? Um, <laughs> because when, when they honk and we all go and Jackson went and the lead kind of went like that, and I think I mowed somebody down, so I'm very, very How sorry. Long did it take? Do you know what's really funny? You know, people go, Oh, I did the London Marathon in two and a half minutes. Four hours to do Four ten hours miles. To walk ten miles. So that means if I ever did the London Marathon, I'd probably still be walking now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not so going to happen. you would have come in with those people who yeah, wear the great suit. things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. But we had a great Brilliant. time. Uh, okay, this weekend, uh, New Zealand actor Russell Crowe revealed that when he met Prince Andrew, on the set for Robin Hood, uh, the prince told him the following story. He said, I was having dinner with my mother, and I asked her if it was appropriate that I wear a suit when visiting the film set. And his mother, who's the queen, by the way, uh, said, <laughs> No, Andrew, if you turn up in a suit, people will think you're a ninny. That's what the Queen calls people. Now we know. Um, but that kind of got us thinking. If it, if it can happen to royalty, you know, where you turn up in the wrong trousers. Um, have we ever had a moment where you've turned up dressed like a ninny? Yeah, about ten minutes ago. <laughs> Covered in birds. <laughs> you were just celebrating the fact that we've got, you know, an amazing actress on the show who happens to be Very in the birds. Funny. You were it, a ninny, you were a tippy. Yeah. I was a tippy, yeah. But, but you I actually looked really stylish in that I suit. Did you did. You oh, oh, anyway. like a total chump. Um, ninny, ninny. <laughs> ninny, ninny, that's right. No, I... Do you know, I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm not very self-aware when it comes to what I look like sometimes. Because I've been looking at old photos and I have to say What that about wearing that big sort of Del Boy coat when we were on the red carpet going to yes. those 
towards. Yes. And we turned round. Carol was Del Boy in like a sort of sheepskin car salesman coat going, All right, mate. All right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> On the red carpet when everyone else is in their evening dresses. No, but I don't, I just don't care about that. I was cold and I didn't want to be cold. But, you know, in my life, I've, I've got photographs of me looking not just a ninny. I mean, just absolutely outrageously awful, and it's I so bet you did awful. That at the time. No, no, no. no. I did. did you? I did. Well, I once went nice. to a pop gig, and I actually looked like I dressed like a court jester. Do you know what I mean? Like a minstrel. You know, with like, with, with like this tabard thing on. Was it in the 80s? Because Marillion was very in the 80s. All that sort of it was thing, in the 80s. And I was a punk rocker as well. And oh, I used to oh have an office gosh. job where I used to have to wear office clothes. And then I had this hair that was shaved all over here with ten long bits hanging down there oh, with a suit on. I mean, I just, look, I just look ridiculous. Yeah, not good. I, um, I, d I think I was always... When I was at school, I was a ninny. Because my mum just... I was just always about a year and a half behind what I should have been. So when I was at school, the skirts went below your knee. Um, but mine was just covering my knicker line. <laughs> Why? Well, they I mean, didn't because, fit your clothes because they were hand-me-downs. They were hand-me-downs, mm. or they had to last me for the whole of my school life, yeah. so it just got shorter and shorter. <laughs> yeah. so See, now you'd be really cool. Yeah. Now I'd be cool, yeah, because yeah. it is, but, you know, Back but then. now my mother would have me in an ankle one. <laughs> 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 you, if you yeah. look at oh, and I've done it with Kira. <clears throat> I made Kira complete Nini because yeah. I didn't read the letter home. And I brought her to school in her uniform. She looked very smart with her tie and that, but it was own clothes day. Oh, I've done that. So, anyway, I shoved her in the school office and ran home and got her proper clothes and brought them back. But I felt she looked at me like, how, how could you Well, talking of, talking of children, it's more appropriate because, because of what I did with, that, with, with, with Matthew, which he still quotes as years and years and years ago. Tim was working in Australia. And we went out there. Matthew was about two. And uh, he got invited to this little party, and um, and and they had to dress as a, as, as, as a hippo. So I dressed. I made this whole. I was really proud of myself. Made this whole thing with this nose, with this grey nose that went out here, and these hand things like these, and these sort of horns like this. A hippo. We walked in, and it was a hippie party. <laughs> Did you not think, why would a hippo party be a theme? <laughs> yeah, I didn't question it. Didn't question no, it. No, no I would. No, I'm, notori I'm notorious for that, for not reading things properly or what have you. Poor, poor Steve, I made him turn up in black tie to a really casual event. Everyone thought he was a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> He's still not forgiving me.